Okay, this is the box that came in. This is the pump shower. Okay, so this is the shower in a bag. I was gonna leave it till I got ready to travel, but I'm gonna about to go ahead and fill this up and leave the water in my truck. So basically unscrew the cap and just fill it up with um, water. Okay, so I just got this Dr. Prepper. It's not leaking. I fill it up with warm water. It's supposed to be five gallons, but it's not standing up on its own. It is not standing up on its own. And it got this thing right here, but that's pretty heavy. So, they should have made it stand up on its own. That's one. Okay. As you know, my sink is broken. I said that before. I was not a fan of that water leaking under here at all. So, I did buy this from... Amazon. One good thing about this, you can see how much water you have left and but the only thing bad about this is that the it's not going to stay up here while I'm driving. I was thinking about letting it sit down and Letting it sit down in here while I'm driving. That could possibly work. You always need water when you're traveling to wash your hands. Because you got a bathroom on board, you need to, some water on board to wash your hands. This is a portable shower too. So, you're supposed to, hold on. Uh, I did not read the instruction, but that's big. Uh, hold on. Let me do it one more time. Hope it don't burst. Okay. That's so cool, huh? So you don't have to worry about a electric pump. That's why I got it. Because they fail. That, that pump failed. This was only like a, less than $50. So if this fail, I get another one. Electric pumps um, and the insulation, 170 per hour plus insulation. All that, no. This, this will work for now. And it is, I put warm water in there. It is solar power. So you can sit it outside and let it, um, you can sit it outside and let it heat up. That is so cool. Yep. And what is this? That's the, that's like a Okay, it worked without it. So, anyways, the problem I most likely have is storage. This is um day two. It hasn't leaked or anything, but it did fall down. And the most annoyed I was when I was driving in Vegas is my water pressure for the shower, the water pressure for the sink, and um. I did, let me show you. I would let the water drip into this pan and wash my hands. I did have to try to boil some water. And I was like, oh my God, this is so annoying. So this could also wash your sand off your feet, things like that. And then I've been watching YouTube and I've seen like the homeless people, they they have a whole system in their um 
in their trucks or vans. I'm like, man, I got an RV. I can make a system. But this thing is noisy. Like if I'm doing anything in here, everybody know, oh, she's using, she's using the water or whatever. But one day I had it going and a dog was standing outside. And then the guy was like, is barking. It was making a different sound than that though. The guy said it, it was, my truck was barking at his dog. <laughs> uh, anyway. Ooh. I got stuff. Dad, want to do that little? Yeah. Yeah, so just to have emergency water here, water there, and then I have a jug right here. Switch. This is junky, but I put I'll put the extra thing up there. And my problem is still <coughs> when I'm driving, everything sh flies to the front. <sighs> so. I have to figure out storage. I have to figure out. I have to figure out storage. I always carry um, that, but I never would need that much to drink, you know, coffee or whatever. But or I or put ice water in there. Um, I buy distilled water. I was buying distilled water to drink, but that I got sick on it one time, so I won't be drinking it. But I will cook cook with this distilled water, like add it to a, a drink or something like that. So I'm still I still gotta I'm trying to figure it out, but I don't regret this purchase. I just I wish I wish they would have made it so it would stand on its own for one. So you so now you need a crate, something that'll it'll sit in. Let me try to uh something is leaking. There's a few drops of water from somewhere. Probably was in this nozzle. Okay, let's try this. Oh, it's okay. I didn't pressurize it today, but it looks oh, it looks pressurized. Let me um pump it. Oh man. Oh. Okay. Oh it oh it stopped me from pumping. Okay. Yeah. Yay! So you know what I was thinking about too. You can um like a spray yourself clean you know in the bathroom. That it can be used for that. And the only problem that I had, like um, because you can get water, I just thought about that too. But the major problem was hot water. The major problem was hot water. Because you could let that fall that uh that bathroom thing drizzle on you, but you want hot water. And that's why I was trying to buy an electric, um, an electric instant instant heat water heater. But the one I ordered, the U Touch, wasn't uh, one ten, so I returned that to FedEx yesterday. So I'm gonna keep this thing though. Yeah, you can use it as a spraying things off spray sand off your feet you can put it outside your uh rv and for storage when i drive i think i'll just sit it in the bathroom yeah i'll sit it in the bathroom so it'll be out of the way but ugh, i still gotta figure out this yes i was driving this yesterday and this thing was clucking cluck clucking so I mean, when I watch everybody else's videos, it's like they always have everything figured out to the T. Like, <laughs> oh, I got to figure this out. Anyways. But, yeah. 
it's a go for me for this thing if the if standing alone is your issue or whatever then you probably have to buy like a a crate or something i'm not sure i don't even know if it'll just work on its side you know just let it look. just let me see just let it lay it look like it's supposed to let's let it lay down it's it still work all right and it's no it's no electricity or anything that's the the awesome part you're gonna have the water regardless that's the awesome part anyways thanks for watching